Hi, my name is Danika Buca, and I'm a physical therapist at Torrance Memorial Medical Center. We're here to talk about how to take care of your knee after total knee replacement surgery. In this video, we will review post-surgical goals, precautions, and exercises for optimal recovery. For optimal recovery, we work with patients to increase knee range of motion. Over the course of your rehab therapy, our goal is to fully straighten your knee and bend your knee to 120 degrees or more. The earlier you achieve these goals, the better. We also want to support soft tissue healing, which includes your scar and tissues around the knee that have been affected by surgery. Our goal is also to improve functional mobility, which includes getting in and out of bed, getting on and off the toilet, walking around your home, and completing errands. We would also like to help reduce swelling and pain. And lastly, improve gait mechanics, or how you walk. Before we take you through rehab exercises, let's first discuss wound care and how to manage the swelling of the knee and leg. Taking care of your incision is important to prevent infection and scarring and help your knee heal properly after your surgery. Your incision will be swollen, bruised, and red right after surgery. These are common symptoms and are part of the healing process. Make sure to examine your incision every day, keep it clean and dry. Showering needs to be cleared by a physician. If you are cleared to shower, please be extra careful not to slip in the shower. We advise you to wear compression socks for swelling management as well. Make sure not to prop a pillow under your knee as this could cause blood clots. It will also reduce the ability to straighten your knee fully. Ankle pumps can also help with swelling management and prevent blood clots. Do 10 ankle pumps every hour. Signs of blood clots include increased swelling, redness, and calf pain. Please notify your physician immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. While rare, if you experience these symptoms, you should contact your physician immediately. A temperature over 101 degrees. Problems or signs there is an infection at the incision site. Any sudden changes in weakness or numbness or severe pain, not relieved by pain meds, rest, or ice. Post-surgery rehab exercises are essential for attaining optimal recovery. In the remainder of this video, we will demonstrate home exercises you should do daily for the first couple of weeks after your surgery. It's important to start these exercises as soon as possible after surgery, even if the nerve block is still in effect. Once the nerve block wears off, in approximately three days after surgery, it's much tougher to move the knee if you haven't already started. Exercise is the best way to heal. It increases range of motion, decreases pain, and improves muscle strength. The more you can do, the better the outcome. However, for all of the following exercises, please consider the amount of pain you are having and how long it takes to get better. You can expect to have some discomfort with initial exercises, but if your pain level is extremely high and cannot be controlled with pain medications or does not ease after stopping the exercise, please consult with your physician or physical therapist. Let's get started. Quad sets. The first exercise we are going to demonstrate is the quad set to improve muscle strength. First, lie on your back with the knee extended fully straight. Tighten and hold the front thigh muscle making the knee flat and straight. The tightening action of the quadriceps is important to strengthen the thigh muscle for improved standing and walking tolerance. Hold for 10 seconds for each contraction. Do 10 repetitions three times a day. Knee extension. The next exercise is the knee extension that will improve the straightening of the knee with the goal to achieve zero degrees. Once again, lie on your back with the towel rolled up under your heel or sit in a chair with the heel on a stool. Let the knee relax into extension, which is straight. Try to hold this position for five minutes, three times a day. While maintaining this extended position, practice the quad set. Do not put a pillow or towel under your knee. Heel slides. Now, let's move on to heel slides. This exercise will help to improve the bending of the knee with the goal to improve 120 degrees of bend. By week three, you should be close to 90 degrees. 
While lying on your back, actively slide your heel towards your buttock to bend the knee as far as you can tolerate. Hold this bent position for 10 seconds and then slowly relieve the stretch and straighten the knee as much as you can. Repeat 10 times, three times a day. Sitting knee flexion in chair. For the next exercise, you will need to be sitting in a chair. Once seated, slide the heel backward as if trying to get your foot underneath the chair. Hold stretch for 10 seconds and then slowly relieve the stretch by sliding the foot forward. You can help with the opposite foot if necessary. Be sure to keep your hips down on the chair. Repeat 10 times, three times a day. Stationary bike or pedals. If you have access to a stationary bike or pedals, this can help you to stretch the knee into flexion, help with walking tolerance, and even help with reducing pain. If you cannot pedal all the way around, then keep the foot of your operated leg on the pedal and pedal back and forth until your knee will bend far enough to allow a full cycle. You may ride the cycle with no resistance for 10 to 20 minutes a day. Straight leg raise. This next exercise may not be achievable right away, but continue to try until you are able. Begin by tightening the quadriceps muscles so that the knee is flat, straight, and fully extended. Try to raise the entire operated limb up off the floor or bed. Raise the limb to about 45 degrees, pause one second, and then lower slowly back to the bed. Relax and repeat. If this is too painful to lift the leg or the knee bends when you attempt to lift the limb off the bed, please hold this exercise until you are able to do so. Keep trying to do the quadriceps setting exercise until you can lift the leg off the table. Repeat 20 times. Short arc quad. Next, we will demonstrate the short arc quad exercise. With the knee bent over a rolled up towel or blanket, lift the foot so that the knee fully straightens. Hold the knee locked in extension for five seconds, then slowly lower. Repeat 20 times. In the next three exercises, you will be in the standing position. Standing heel raises. We will start with standing heel raises. Begin by standing facing a wall or countertop for support and balance. Keep the knees extended fully. Tighten the quadriceps to hold the knee fully straight. Raise up onto your tiptoes while maintaining the knee straight. Hold for one second, then lower slowly to the starting position. Repeat 20 times. Standing hamstring curl. For the next exercise, you will continue to stand facing a wall or countertop for balance. While standing on the unoperated limb, bend the knee of the operated side and raise the heel toward the buttock. Hold this flexed position for one second. Slowly lower the foot back to the floor. Keep the thighs aligned next to each other. Repeat 20 times. Standing march. Our next exercise is the standing march. Start by standing within the walker or holding onto the countertop and march one knee up towards the chest bending your hip and knee as much as possible. Then slowly lower the leg and repeat on the other leg. Continue marching slowly while holding onto the countertop for balance. Repeat 20 times. Gate training. Our last exercise is gate training. The heel toe pattern, which refers to the heel of the foot, strikes the surface first, followed by rolling to the ball and then to the toes, which provide the push up. During the initial swing, the hip and knee and ankle are flexed to begin advancement of the limb forward and create clearance of the foot over the ground. Technique is important. Be sure to bend your knee when you swing it forward. Avoid landing with the knee straight. Make sure the heel is on the floor. It is important to walk throughout the day to improve walking mechanics. This will help you get back to walking normally. Start by walking around your home and gradually increasing the walking distance. Follow up with rest, ice, and elevation. Walk five times a day. Just walking to the kitchen or bathroom is not enough. Make sure to walk around inside the home and then increase the distance gradually. That concludes our demonstration. We recommend you perform these exercises daily unless otherwise noted by your physician or physical therapist. The key to your recovery is to get moving. Make sure that you are consistent with these exercises. 
Your knee joint is strong and stable. It's okay to use it. Don't be fearful of movement. Your pain should decrease each week after the surgery. Make sure to ice your knee and elevate after activity, 15 to 20 minutes. Use a clean towel or cloth between the ice pack and skin. Take the prescription pain meds as directed by your physician. Do not drive or drink alcohol when on pain medication. And store pain medications in a secure location. Balance activity with rest to prevent excessive swelling. Movement is important, but be aware of how much you are moving each day. A pedometer or other device can be helpful to monitor your activity and the number of steps per day. Too much standing activity can cause an increase in pain and swelling and limit your ability to perform exercises. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. At Torrance Memorial Medical Center, our goal is to provide personalized patient care to help achieve optimal recovery and get you back to what you love to do. We encourage you to practice these exercises daily. For more information, please refer to your post-surgical rehabilitation education materials. For additional information, you may visit our website at torrancememorial.org or contact our rehab support team at 310-517-4735 to speak to a member of our care team.